Now then, welcome back to another episode on Iron Mine Arc Survival Evolved. We're out with the red, white, and blues today. Woo! <laughs> And we're, we're, we're having we're a just, look around for an excellent adventure. We're just hovering here. How are we doing this? I don't know how these birds manage to stay hovering in midair, flightless. It's got to be an updraft. That's the only thing I can think of. It's got to be an updraft, yes. I know there's birds in nature that actually can hover, but everything in this game seems to be able to hover in just the same way. It's crazy. But anyway... Um, oh, yeah. The new update came out, patch 237. Two, three, I have no idea what those numbers even mean. So It means it's the 237th patch. That's scary. That's scary, actually. yeah. That's how many patches they've done so far. Um, and new <laughs> content, new caves and stuff. Excellent adventure. Being Easter weekend release, here uh -huh. we are hunting around for something that might not even be here. I don't know how it works on this server in particular. Um, but I am at latitude 62, uh, longitude 37-ish, maybe more Ish. to the 35. But around about here, there's supposed to be a new cave. And so that would put it somewhere in the forest below us. So I feel lucky, and I'm going to go and have a look around. You think it might be in this water over here? That could be well true. Somebody mentioned scuba gear. Um, yeah. Looking down on the water, I don't see... It doesn't look very deep to me. Uh, okay, but that could still mean there's a cave. And that's someone's base. Yeah, it's... The base is just rendered in. Pretty shallow. Yeah, so that won't be it, because somebody's made a base there. I think that's Lady M and group have made their base over here. Uh, I think I've seen some videos where they've nope. got that. No? Who's, who's base is Well, this? I see a lot of cryo. You see a lot of cryo? Yeah. That could just mean that he's moved in. Cryo, 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 cryo. cryo, cryo. Yeah, okay, everything's cryo. This is cryo's new base then. Okay, so I don't know where this mouth of the cave may be, but I kind of see something just ahead of me now, which may be something like... A I see a entrance. pile of rocks. Uh, yeah, I see a doorway. Well, you that was easy to find. At least I think I've just doorway? found it. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's go back up this rock face. Just land there. Okay, landing here. Landing gear out. In the shrubs, of course. It has uh -huh. to be in the shrubs. Well, I think we may have just spotted it. Can you see what I'm looking at? No, I'm watching this this raptor okay. having having fun over here. Okay. Um, this place right, heading towards you. This place, I don't know. I was expecting something different, maybe. It's green. It's slimy. It's it, grassy. It's horrible. We don't oh. like it. I'm thinking of fortifying an area around it already. So, so my plan. So I brought some wood to make some Something basics. hurt. Something's hurting you. Okay, well, uh, glad you are scouting the place out for the first time. Yeah, I'm it was hot in there. Hot or poisonous? No, just hot. I'm trying to get this lined up now. Like, I immediately get the uh, the big flame. Like, you immediately get the, you are dying. Get out immediately. No, yeah, know. something is something is definitely hurting in there. I can't see what it is, but I go in there, I start taking damage. Okay. Whoa! A whole bunch of stuff just suddenly rendered in. Stuff inside there? No, right on top of you. Right on top of me? Yeah. Okay. Like plants that weren't here before. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, plants that weren't here before. I'm just mm -hmm. kind of... Uh, Trying to figure out a way to secure the area a little bit. I'm trying to get the angles on these things. I've been playing around with these today. To build in <laughs> the stuff. Yeah, and I saw back at the, uh, the the base there was a bunch of doors. Yeah, it's the 
automated farm thing. So I've been playing around with setting them up and they kind of click together. So I'm just uh, seeing what I can do in this area to kind of fortify the entrance as best as possible. I'm going to put some walls up around I've it. I have never seen a cave that looked anything like this before. Well, it is a new cave, so yeah, it goes goes with the territory that you've never seen it before. Um, I want to I wanna kind of mark it out with a, a defensive fortification, as it were, but that doesn't want to have a doesn't want to have a door on it. So there's going to be a little gap down the side there all the time. Okay. But never mind. Wow. Those those plants just don't like being here. Are they rendering in and out for you? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Like, them. when I go in the cave and then come back out, the plants are gone. And then... You render then issues? They, with... They're back. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know what it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to bring the bird in. And it's as fortified as I can make it right now. Land. So there we have it. I see poop. Was that you? Nope. Oh. Mm-hmm. Somehow. What's on top of it, then? Anything on top of it? Yeah, nothing. So it's just kind of been added into the whole area. It's not really... Uh, it's not really disturbed anything, but it's very yeah. close to Cryo's new base. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. You can see Cryo's new base from here. Yeah, this whole rock just looks like it doesn't belong. Yeah. It was supposed to be this is a swamp cave. It's not very much in a swamp, though, is it? Well, you go inside, it's very swampy in there. Okay. Well, I suppose there's water sources around. All right, then. So let's go and have a little scouty inside, then. You've already seen some stuff. I definitely suggest bringing oh, the bringing brightness beds, changed up. Be beds back. Yeah. Okay. Should we uh, should we make the beds now? No. Do you have? Oh yeah. Everything's just disappeared, and then I come out of the cave, and everything is frozen, and then renders in. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of weird. So it's kind of kind of a weird transitional loading screen. <laughs> Between the uh, two places in an open world environment. Hey, at least it's not a CD swap. At least it's not a CD swap. Yeah, we got that. All right, let's uh, let's please make... insert disc thirty-seven. Thank yeah. you. Two thirty-seven in this case. <laughs> let's uh, let's make a bed. A couple of beds. Okay. Well, we only actually need one bed, don't we? Well, when we both die. Oh yeah, they refresh, don't they? They take a while to refresh. Yeah. Uh, sleeping bags. Will that work uh, just as good? Um, no, because. They, uh, they're only one use. Okay. Well, a bed's going to need some wood, fibre, and thatch, and hide. I've got the fibre. We just need the hide. Because wood is simple to come by. Gonna... Yeah, we, we could go kill some stuff, I guess. That's a good plan. Well volunteered. Let me, let me... What? Well, we only need a bit of hide. No, it was wanting me to rename the bird. Oh, did you land on it funny? I don't know. It's just weird. Okay. Chop down a few of these trees around here. Make it a little bit more open so people can find it easily. Just in case we need reinforcements, we might have to call upon the rest of the server to come down this place. Let's chop down some more bit berry bushes. Yeah, I'm still okay. worried about that raptor, though. Well, we've got the uh, kind of fortified area for when we need it. Or you could go and kill the raptor with your bird. You're right, I could. Yep. Uh, there's there's some meat and hide for you. Awesome, okay. So, um, did the dead body fall down? Yeah, it did. Yeah. I dropped it on the ground. In front of the gates. Oh yeah. Okay. Two beds coming up. Oh, well, he's a decent decent fifty six. I need more thatch for it. Hi yay. 
a little bit of setup, making beds and everything will be very useful in the long term, I'm sure. Take it. There we go. All right. So. How much did that get us? Uh, possibly enough. Let's do... I can do grab that. another few Mia if you want. No, that's all right. I've got two beds made. We may need okay. other things, but we've got two. We've got the two beds that we need. And so, do they need a foundation to place? I believe so. It looks like yes, they do. Okay, so uh, a couple of quick foundations as well then. Um, we can just do simple thatch foundations. That'll be nice enough. <laughs> Two of those. Thank you very much. Put the gates and the doors and stuff away. Okay. And let's have that there with that. Um, how far around can I put this? I'm down in a hole. Let's put it sideways. Let me move my bird. There we go. There's one. And the other one I'll put over here anyway. Okay. Somewhere around here. Somewhere there. That'll do. That'll also prevent things from spawning around here and coming in as well. Okay, so we've got the two beds. I don't think we're anywhere nearly uh, ready for this cave. I don't think we're equipped for it whatsoever. But at least we have a restart point and we've got our birds to head home on. Let's go ahead and take the initial uh, scout. Um, yeah, I'd like to bring my uh, rifle in again, but I don't know where I put it. <laughs> or whether you lost it. No, I would not have taken it underwater. Okay. Uh, this place looks icky. Yeah. And there is poison shrooms by the looks of it. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's very, very hot. And then you start taking damage. Yeah. And I don't know what's causing the damage. Yeah, sulfur caves or something maybe? Let's see if we can collect this stuff quick. No, can't collect that. Uh, it's in all the root work. It's only when you get lower down though isn't it it's not up this way this way you're hot up here mm -hmm. but when you go a bit further in you start taking the damage but it goes very deep down very deep down yeah this isn't something we can walk into with our current gear so Is I'm guessing the green stuff that when you touch the green stuff you take damage could potentially be that yes could potentially nope. be that well, it could be that we're getting some sort of poisonous effect. So, either way, we need to uh, retreat from here and come back in a little while. We'll go and get some supplies from base and be back very soon. Well, we're in a ghillie suit now. Guessing that that might be an option. Maybe. Possibly. Could be. Who knows what it actually needs us to do to survive that place. I don't really know. Uh, but I've brought along a few supplies. I'm trying to arrange them in the base now. So we've got beds to respawn and inventories to put things in. Spare things. Things that we may want in the future. Yeah, the last cave that we tackled uh, took us several deaths. Yeah. So we're, so we we're, to we're hoping it that out. the beds and the boxes will help out. Mm -hmm. To put stuff in for now. Uh, it's pretty hot in there. I've got a spare campfire. I'm just putting the campfire out here so that it's, it's available if we need to keep warm outside when we respawn or something and we're naked. I'm going to put some dinosaur gateways and some foundations and a thatched door frame and a few other bits and pieces 
just to try and keep the bad guys at bay. I'm also going to take scuba gear because it may be that the scuba gear is the thing that can keep you alive. If it was the uh, air that was hurting us in there, then maybe the scuba gear Yeah, my gear scuba tank gear is on, is on my bird. Okay. So I'm going to try it with just the ghillie suit for now, and if it if it doesn't work, then... Then, uh, well, then we'll be back for more. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back and get the... Okay. Oh, there goes the uh, lag when it loads up again. Changes all the colours and the brightness and everything as it loads in the new place. There we go. Brightness achieved. Says I'm hot. Yeah, I'm still taking damage. Okay, let's uh, switch to the the scuba gear and see if that helps out. Still hot, but do you take damage? Each portion of it, just the. I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage, but it's not really a lot of damage. It's one point of damage, so it's going to be 342 taking oh. damage before I die. Wow, so that's not even a thing, is it? Scuba gear doesn't seem to do any justice to us. We're still taking damage down here. I wonder how deep the cave goes. I'm taking five. You're taking five damage every time yeah how many taking a little bit don't know why that is maybe my fortitude is slightly higher but there doesn't seem to be anything here yet to fight so let's continue it oh, yeah I see. I see spiders lots of spiders and they come in this way okay I got webbed at least I think it got webbed you're running away cheers Okay. They're massive as well. They're hundreds of levels. Get out. They are level hundreds. They're not small levels. They're level hundreds. Get out of there. Right. Option number two. Uh, let's try putting down something to stop them coming at us. Ah, they're still coming at me. They're coming out. They're coming out. The last thing I need is lagging now. It's coming out into the air. Get a bird. Get a bird. I've frozen. We got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. It's dead. Oh, man. That is yeah. kind of ridiculous. He is kind of massive. 120. Uh, no, 232 levels of yeah. big, bad, nasty thing. And I'm slightly poisoned as well, it seems. And there's and still there's more of them behind there. It's coming after us some more. Oh, you get that one. <sighs> I've fallen down. I'm asleep. Bye. Night. Night, night. I'm asleep. Wow. That is harsh. We're going to have to fortify the tunnel entrance and everything to stop them coming out. Wow. Am I, am I going to recover? I sparked out. I think my health is staying stable at the minute. <laughs> Have you got enough bullets to keep them off us? I, I don't them. know. Yes. I think that was like six bullets. Well, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> and why are we doing this again? Uh, for Easter it's, it's... eggs. So that we can uh, wear bunny ears. Yeah. I do not see any Easter eggs. All I saw was poisonous mushrooms and spiders. That was literally the start of the cave. <laughs> we were there at the beginning of the cave. Ah, uh, well. Um, going in steady. Fortifying on the way in. Putting doorways and stuff so we can kill them but they can't get us. That's my next option. Blocking off areas with doorways so that they can't get out and chase us. Are you still getting attacked or are you okay? No, I was just breaking the things because it was in the way. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, are you... Where are you? I'm... I think I'm by the bed. Oh, you're under it. Okay. Uh, I Yeah, I guess I'm under the bed. Under You've the bed. You've got 30 torpor left to go. Okay. I'll be up in a minute. I'll be right back. Tune in next episode. <laughs> what? <laughs> By the time. I, I don't even have a full episode recorded yet. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm back up. Uh, <clears throat> well, this scuba gear didn't do anything other than stop me being able to see. Oh, yeah, you've got the mask and everything on. Yeah, and now I'm glitching out in this... Get on the bird quick. There. There you go. Whew. Can't take the so bird how in. do you want to do? How do you want to do I, the? I'm gonna the... take a bird in. No, can't take the bird in. Yeah, you've put that wall there. No, I don't think you could get the bird in anyway, even if there wasn't the foundation there. So how are we going to do this? Hmm. Well, I'm thinking if you could put down a, a door like right inside of this place. Yeah. Because <laughs> he, it took him a while to crawl over this this foundation. Yeah, did give us a few more seconds. Uh, uh, luckily, only two of them followed us. There was a, a kind of a way through that they came through to get to us. Well, they came out of the cave, didn't they? We saw them, they came through the tunnel. So there's an area there that doesn't have any mob spawning that we could potentially fortify at the beginning. Yeah, right before this first patch of mushrooms. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, well I'm coming in. Oh, we still have a guy hiding down in a, in the mushrooms down there. Okay, well let me uh, let me fortify this entrance way here. You see that second big patch down there? I want to fortify this like opening here, this cave entrance. Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely do that. I'm just so saying do this watch one. out for this. And then put... How come you brought these foundations? I was thinking fence foundations would be... Well, I didn't know it was going to work as an idea, so I thought I would just test it out with thatch foundations and doors, nice and cheap. And we can always chop down some All trees right. if we want to do well, it any better. But you do have a sniper I mean, position there, don't you? They might not be able to get through there very quickly. Right, I'm going to chop some trees while I'm regenerating. And uh, try and get back up to uh, some form of normality. I hope for the best. Are you still hurting? Uh, I'm fairly injured, yes. I'm half injured. And oh. recovering steadily. Okay, I, I recovered pretty... And that's why you're still in there. And I'm out here. I'm just going to knock a few trees down. Get some more materials, make some more thatchy bits. To... Uh, Stifle their attacks at us and hope for the best there. Going in at it without um, fortifying as we go. I think it's like a, a conquer the place siege-wise mm -hmm. rather than conquer the place all in one go. And just slowly but surely make our way through it all. And beat them arachnids up. Beat them all up. Take them all down. Okay, I've taken out two so far. It's good. There must be a finite number in there as well. There can't be tons of them in there, can there? Don't know. And I'm gonna put some meat on the fire as well while I'm here. Mmm. This is gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be a big challenge. I don't foresee us getting through this challenge in one episode. This is going to be a double biller, people. Yeah, it's definitely going to take a while. Mm-hmm. Let's put all that out the way there. Uh, I've also got Dinosaur Gateway for the larger area down there. So that'll be useful. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to yeah, I'm going to have to just grab some more materials. We still haven't tested to see if they can get through this door. Well, get someone to chase you then. Trying. Have fun. <laughs> have fun with that. They're, uh... 
They're not chasing like you would think they would. They're climbing right up the walls. All oh, right, so you can shoot them, but they're not coming down to chase after you. No, there's this big ledge that's right here. Oh, you've got that ledge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a ledge right around the corner. They're and they're trying to get up the ledge rather than they're going straight. They're going at you. straight for the. Well, that's kind of good, I guess. Well, they're not making it all the way up the ledge. They're getting stuck halfway. Well, that's even better. Because that means that you've got the opportunity to take care of them. No. No? It's like uh, under, a, under a ledge. So I can't shoot down at them. I'm uh, 70 health off max. I'm coming in to place a few more things. I've got some resources on me now. Okay. Um... A ramp. Oh yeah, well, I didn't know how bad it was. So this ledge here is this one? The one yeah, you're there's about? spiders right below oh. you. Uh huh. I see them, and they can get up here, but they're not quite making it. So you get to shoot them over and over again. Yeah, you do. Well, that's handy. Whoa! Oh. That looks like a big one. Falling down. Oh, you killed him? No, I don't think I killed anyone. But he fell down. When you t came around the corner, he fell down. Oh, he's dead. He appears to be dead. Uh, well, I just see him moving. Okay. He's still down there on their side there. Ooh, so we could fulfill murder holes. I wonder if that actually does us any damage when we're out. Now he's there. coming. Yeah, I'm still taking damage just for being in here, am I? Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. So that's not going to worky. Um, but it does give us the shoot down at an advantage. And hopefully there's a finite number of them in here and they don't respawn unless we uh, go well or well away so uh, we just keep uh, picking at them I'm gonna just head out a little ways just so I'm not taking damage every second I'm gonna make a few of those um, trap doors so we can shoot down through the trap doors okay that spider died yay good good there was still another one but I'm taking a lot of damage. Yeah, just uh, retreat for a little while. Retreating. And then I'll make a few walls and things. Okay, well, I'm at my 15 mark. The two 15s gives me a 30-minute episode. I could go for a few more minutes. Nah, we're done. We, there's not much more we can do in these caves right now. We're not going to get much more achieved. All we've got is we've got a fortification against the wild. We're going to make fortification against the cave, in the cave. And then we're going to go and kill some stuff. Kill some stuff. All yeah. right. See you next episode, folks. Bye-bye.